My name is Benjamin. I'm an agronomist with the Echo Farms and Agro Services Company. Uh, today I'll be demonstrating to us on how to blend rich yield organic and PK fertilizer uh, with conventional compound fertilizer. Over the years, with the increase and in growing weather anomalies, uh, rising cost of farm inputs and energy, uh, we are understanding that there is a need for us to tweak a little bit of our conventional knowledge of agriculture. We understand now that uh, fertilizers, excessive use of uh, chemical fertilizers are harming our soils. We understand that there is a growing need for a more healthy way to farm. There is more healthy to human life and, and the environment. And so there is a better and a more improved approach to farming, which is the blend of uh, a high volume of organic fertilizer with minimal composition of compound or conventional chemical fertilizer. And so our protocol um, we're preaching is the integrated approach to farming, which is the use of high volumes of organic fertilizers with minimal uh, blending of chemicals. And in this way, we achieve fertilizer use efficiency and crops are healthy, the soil is healthy, and we achieve monumental yield. Today, we'll be learning how to mix rich yield organic MPK fertilizer with conventional compound fertilizer. Our aim is to ex cut down on the excessive use of uh, uh, chemical fertilizers that are destroying our soils and to build on the organic. So the minimal protocol, uh, embracing the integrated um, blending protocol, where we use minimum chemical fertilizers to blend with the organic and achieve monumental yield. Farmers come to the field and they either broadcast or do top dressing with the grains of the fertilizers on the surface. But here, what we recommend is that every grain ha will not go to waste every grain we account because the cost of inputs are increasing and we understand uh, global climate change is real. Uh, rain patterns are very regular. So what we recommend is that uh, farmers bury the fertilizer next to the grains. And that's what we are recommending and that's what we're doing here. So you see that the farmer, the workers are burying the grains of the fertilizer beside the maize plants and covering. If there are rains, fertilizer dissolve beneath the soil and there's efficiency. If there's no rain, the grains are protected beneath the soil and uh, from erosion, from wind and water erosion uh, until whenever rain comes. And so uh, these are the key uh, good agronomic practice that we are promoting uh, within the Nigerian space. Um, another important thing we stress is that first, which we call starter dose, application of fertilizer is applied uh, minimally second to third week of uh, germination. And this gives the, the crops, the starter dose, the right nutrient, the balanced diet uh, to spring board. And we have encouraged farmers to embrace these techniques and we've recorded excellent results.